Hi everybody, Ranger Rob here at Pink Shell and I am with... Isla. And... Shell. And we are going to be looking for... Comb jellyfish. Combs? Oh, yes. I need some combs for my hair. <laughs> like that kind of comb? No. What kind of comb? Jellyfish. Or you can call them comb jellies. So we're looking for comb sea jellies because our jellies... Mustache. My mustache is funny? No, it's not my hair. So my hair is perfect. Jelly that you put on bread. It does sound kind of good. That does sound really good. Do you like peanut butter and jelly? Fish, no, really fish. Um, no. They're just called jellyfish because they swim in the water just like fish. You're exactly right. So let's go find some. Come on. You showed him. What kind of bird is that? Pelican. It's a what? Pelican. You're right. Another pelican. All of them. Look at all those little fish. Look how small they are. Can I see? Yeah, look at all these little fish. Oh. Are you sure they're not baby minnows? They are all little babies. Be very caught, son. Baby minnows? Mm. Looks like it. I'm going to put them in because whenever you hold an animal out of the water, it can only breathe. Oh, they're so small they go through underwater. the net. Underwater. It can only them. breathe underwater. Look at them all. Can you put them in, 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 my, in, my, in my cage? They go under <laughs> water to breathe. So one rule that I like to do with animals when I hold them out of the water is I hold my breath while I'm, oh, be careful. I hold my breath while I'm holding them. And as soon as I need a breath of air, I have to put them back because that tells me their time to go back in. Darn jellyfish, they didn't show up for our video. Well, they're not here for you. They can do whatever they want. Why? Because because animals are, are important to us. We don't want them to be gone or hurt. But I want them here in my box. Well, they have to be out in the ocean. So how are they supposed to find food? Um, living spaces. Well, I, but I want them. I want to look at them. It's not, it's not supposed to be a squirrel. It's supposed to be a bear or else they won't be a thing. So we need animals to be here for us to be here. Is that right? No? How about some of them? Maybe? Like bees? <laughs> so, okay, can we at least come back tomorrow and try again? Fine. Okay, we'll come back tomorrow. Promise? Okay. See you guys tomorrow. Hello again. We're back and we're going to have a take two at finding our comb jellies, right? Right. Why do you think we couldn't find any jellies yesterday? It was probably because it was, it, it was probably because those animals were swimming away. They probably swam away. They, they're not here for us, are they? No, they do whatever they want to do. And the one thing I've learned working with animals and with kids is you can't ever expect them to do anything you want them to do. They're going to do whatever they want to do, like right? If you want a fish to jump up so you can catch it, they can do whatever they want. Exactly. Or like your sister, she was walking all over the place yesterday, yeah. but I thought it was kind of funny. <laughs> so we really have to just like, allow animals if you to be want wild. Your sister to calm down a little bit. I just have to let her run free. <laughs> like a like like in a big field off on the up in the meadow. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, well let's go see if we can't find some comb jellies today. <laughs> yeah. See him right here? Alright, now real soft. Do you wanna to try to scoop him up? You got you him. You got him! Good job! Like a big oh, here. Here. If you want to dump him out, here, wait, 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 wait. I gotta wet my hands. It makes it a little safer for him. It looks like we... a big blob of jelly. Doesn't he? You want to hold him? <laughs> and you yeah. see that that stripe right there? Is, is that why it's called a comb jelly? Exactly right. And that's where he would light up, where they have the bioluminescence, where they light up at night. 
and for some reason they light up a little more when there's different types of elements in the water like one element is called sulfur and they react to that element and it makes them glow really bright shouldn't we put him in the bucket you're right i'm just going to put him in the water real quick and then we're going to go put him in the bucket but he might not stay here Comb sea jellies, not jellyfish, are commonly found throughout the Gulf of Mexico, using their tiny little tentacles to move around, but mainly just being moved by the tides and the current. They are bioluminescent, depending on what different types of things are in the water, they can light up red, purple, or even orange. They filter feed by pulling little sediments through their body. Alright, hold your hands like a cup, I'm going to put it right in your hands. There you go. Doesn't that feel weird? Doesn't feel like an animal, does it? So, a lot of people say jellyfish, but they're clearly not a fish. They're called sea jellies. And sea jellies have their own group that they live in. And some sea jellies in the world are immortal. That means they'll live forever. Are these sea jellies, are these, are these sea jellies immortal? Sadly, no. These are pretty delicate. Um, even holding them, we don't want to hold them for too long. That's why we're just putting them in and out of the water because they are very soft. Yeah, if you want to put him in the net, I'll slowly put him back in, nice and gentle. Ah. I do want to say something about jellies. Some jellies, like we were talking about earlier, they can sting very, very badly. So you need to be very careful when you're messing with sea life because a lot of sea life is venomous and poisonous. And if you don't know and you don't have the education to know what you're touching, best thing to do is what? Just look at it and leave it alone. Yeah, you can really learn a lot just by looking. And just because we were touching these guys, don't go out and touch a sea jelly because some of them, especially the ones that are moving, they have the bell and the tentacles, they can do some big damage. Yeah. Guys, so while we were over looking for the comb jellies, guess who found a snake? Where did you see him at? Right over here? Yeah? Now, did you catch him? Oh, you want to touch him back here because he does have a mouth and he can bite and you don't want to scare him too much. We're just going to show him off a little bit and then we're going to let him go. Oh, not his head. Did you get a chance to touch him? Very cool. Now this is a black racer. They are known to be very, very fast because they're very long. They love to move around. Yep. Remember one finger, you guys. And we're going to let him go right now. Do you guys kind of smell him? Does he smell kind of like rotten cucumbers? So some snakes, they they will bite. They are stinky. <laughs> some snakes are stinky because they like to must, and that is a defense that they'll do to make themselves smell nasty so animals don't want to eat them. All right. So I'm going to let him go. Now this snake likes to eat little lizards, likes to eat little, um, little invertebrates, not invertebrates, like insects. Oh, remember, don't touch his head. He is very cute. And what's he doing with his tongue? What do snakes do with their tongues? They're smelling. They're smelling, yeah. Yeah, they're smelling. All right, so here, back up onto my right side over here. Come over here with your sister. Oh, come over here with your sister, please. Over there. I know, we're going to put him down. Oh, watch over here. Stand right over here for me. Perfect. Yeah, and I'm going to watch you, let you see how fast he'll go. So I'm going to get him a little further away from us. How fast is that? Pretty cool, huh? What does a jellyfish sound like? Wah, wah. Is that when they're only in the net or all the time? <laughs> so yeah, we just caught the snake after we got these sea jellies and we wanted to show you guys really close up views of these couple sea jellies we found. They might be hard to see, but they're in there. Do these sea jellies eat fish? No. They eat small, small So they're filter feeders, like she's saying. The, cam the camera can't hear you if you're not looking at it. Filter feeders are when they have like a little tentacle for their body and little things they suck up with it and then they bring it back into their body. Yeah, so these little comb jellies are like a tube, okay? 
and they can't swim. They just kind of float through the water with the current. And as they're swimming, things will go through that tube and some of those things they will be able to grab and turn into energy to keep moving their teeny little tentacles around to just grab different pieces of food and have energy enough to live. Yeah. Some sea jellies have those really strong tentacles with the venom and they'll grab fish and pull them in and the venom kills the fish. So do we have to worry about these doing it? Nope, because they don't eat the fish, so we don't have to worry about that. So should we go put them back home? Yeah. Alright, let's go. Pour them in real soft. Good job. Whoop, there goes one. There goes two. Bye, come. Well, you guys, we saw a lot in the past couple of days, and I can't wait to help you guys learn with us again next time. You guys have anything you want to say? say goodbye okay bye everybody thank you for watching Wait. <laughs> <laughs> bigger don't hurt yourself <laughs> don't hurt her all right